okay okay next we are going to see uh, session 3 in session 3 we are going to see the propagation of action potential okay propagation of action potential okay uh, see the next slide okay so this is our uh, first unit syllabus so already we have studied the origin of biopotential okay next we are going to see the propagation of biopotential okay. so biopotential propagation the objective of this session is so student can understand what is propagation how biopotential is propagated from one place to another place or one location to another location or one point to another point okay right and what is propagation generally what is propagation so propagation means the moving from one point to another point okay for example radio wave propagation okay consider on your phone station so on your phone station uh, is present in uh, thermal value correct okay so they are transmit the waveform that's a modulated signal that modulated signal is uh, propagate through the air okay from the transmitter antenna to our receiver antenna okay so this is a propagation that is a transferring or moving okay similarly uh, in our body uh, the pain is transferred from one organ to our cells for example in our food if we are having any injuries so the pain is transferred through the nerve system to the brain to sense the pain okay if the transfer is not present we cannot sense the pain okay so that is a propagation so the definition that means the it is a general definition from dictionary the act or action of propagating such as increase in numbers okay propagation means increase in number okay that is also one of the meaning the spreading of something okay spreading of something such as please if that is a general example okay that is a spreading so spreading is a propagation enlargement that is also a propagation okay here the propagation means we are take this action potential from one cell to another cell okay so this is a propagation of action potential resting potential never propagate action potential only propagate that is important point okay right then process how it is takes place see when will action potential present when the cell is excited the cell is energies the action potential okay so the action potential produce some voltage okay the action potential generates some voltage that is action potential voltage this action potential voltage again excite surrounding cells okay again excite the surrounding cells then the surrounding cells also excited then again it generates action potential and it is excite next cells this process is repeated so during the time of the excitation the action potential generator and the ionic current is being flow ionic current is start flowing okay so this ionic current again excite the neighboring cells so this process repeated again and again okay so the action potential is moving from one point to another point this is all also same as the top the waves in the water okay if you are making any vibration in the center of the water so that vibration is connected on the some waves that waves is moving from the center to the edge of the water okay so same way the propagation is takes place in cell so this signal is moving from one point to another point okay so the action potential carries some information that is moving from one point to another point okay so this is a basic um, uh, like process of action potential that is a propagation okay and the propagation rate what is rate how much voltage is propagated that is a rate so the rate at which the action potential moves 
down a fiber or propagated from cell to cell. Okay, the rate at which action potential moves. So you know how much fast it moves the action potential. Whether the action potential moves slowly or action potential moves very fast. That is the rate with respect to time. That is the rate of action potential. It's a propagation of action potential. Okay. So the propagation of action potential is uh, also called as contraction velocity. How fast the action potential is moving. The fast the speed is indicated by the velocity. So it is also called as contraction velocity. Okay. Right. So then the conduction velocity that is where is depending on the type and the diameter of the now fiber okay for example in our uh, electronics the wire connection so different type of wires we are using okay for example very very narrow wire for example coils very narrow coils then uh, depending on the application the diameter of the coil is very Okay, and the diameter of the coil is very because that in that it carry the current conduction that carry the electrons. For example, consider one uh, 500 milliamps transformer. The secondary winding is very very thin. The winding that is the coil diameter is very thin. If you consider four ampere transformer, the secondary coils are very. The diameter of the coil is very high. So what's the reason? That is a 500 milliampere. This is a 4 ampere. That's a different. 500 milliampere uh, transformer can produce only 500 milliampere current. So it is. So the diameter is very low. Same way, 4 ampere transformer can produce 4000 milliamps current. So the diameter is very high. So in reverse manner, we can see if the diameter is high, it can carry more information. So the conduction velocity, the speed of the action potential moving is depends on the diameter of the now fiber. Okay, right? Then the propagation through heart muscle is slower. The average rate is for uh, two to point sorry that is uh, not two so zero point two zero point two to zero point four milliseconds. Okay. So that is a propagation rate of heart muscle because the heart muscle is very tough. Okay. Right. Then bioelectric potential. Okay. So actually we already studied in the last session about the bioelectric potential. So bioelectric potential nothing but the measurement of bioelectric voltage of different position or different organ. For example, measurement of bioelectric potential in heart that is called electrocardiogram that is ECG. Then the measurement of bioelectric potential in brain, potential of brain that is called as electroencephalogram that is EEG. Then measurement of bioelectric potential of uh, machines that is electromyogram that is EMG. Okay. Similarly, electroretinogram. Retina means the eye, the retina. Okay. Then electrohistogram. Then electroagulogram. These are the different bioelectric potential that is we can measure from different organs. Okay. Right. According to the requirement, we can measure different bioelectric potential. Okay. Right. So before see the uh, outcome, we have to see uh, one small video about bioelectric potential. So sorry, bioelectric propagation. How the bioelectric signals are propagated. Okay. Let us see. potential depicted as a red band is propagated in one direction along the axon during an action potential the inside of the cell membrane becomes positive with respect to the outside an action potential generates local currents that tend to depolarize the membrane immediately adjacent to the action potential 
When depolarization caused by the local currents reaches threshold, a new action potential is produced adjacent to the original one. Action potential propagation occurs in one direction because the recently depolarized area of the membrane is in absolute refractory period and cannot generate an action potential. An action potential. Dilation. Axon diameter. Sorry. So this way the action potential is propagated from one place to another place and another one important point is the action potential uh, propagated in single direction. Okay. According to the requirement the action potential is moving from forward direction and reverse direction. Okay. Right. So from this session you can understand about the propagation of uh, that is uh, you can understand about the propagation of biotic signal okay right and uh, biotic signals okay thank you